It is without doubt, in my opinion, the biggest scientific discovery of my lifetime and without doubt one of the biggest scientific discoveries of all time. So I'm tremendously excited. It's a, it's a, it's a real pleasure. It's almost an honour to be part, a tiny part of this discovery. I mean, we're, we're all part of it. It's like th this day will go down as one of the great days in the history of science, I think. And that's not overly hyperbolic. It's that important. For those of us with rather smaller brains than yourself, tell us why it is so important. Well, th this is, just to look at the history of it, this is a prediction that was made almost 50 years ago. And the prediction is that the universe, everywhere, empty space, everywhere you look, every little cubic centimetre of space in front of you and inside your body and across the universe is rammed full of Higgs particles. And everything that makes up your body, the little subatomic particles in your hand, are bouncing off them. And that's how they get their mass. And more than that, the theory said that these Higgs particles sort of condensed out into empty space less than a billionth of a second after the universe began. So it's genuinely, it sounds very esoteric and fundamental, but what we've shown today is that's right. Now that's actually how the universe works. So it's one of the central planks of our understanding of how everything in the universe works. And even though all, throughout my whole career as a particle physicist, I've 20 years now, this theory has been there. I think the realisation that it's actually right is quite shocking, actually. I'm quite shocked that uh, such a strange thing has been shown to be true. And so now it is proven, what do scientists actually do with that information? Ah, well, there's a lot more to do. When, when I say it's proven, so we found a particle that behaves exactly as predicted uh, in exactly the place we thought, but there are lots of different ways in which it could do its job, there could be more than one, we don't know yet. So now the real challenge is to first of all absolutely prove that it is the so-called standard model Higgs particle, this thing predicted by Peter Higgs almost 50 years ago, and then try to see in precision how it behaves. Because I'm, I'm sure you, as I hope you can see, it's a genuinely fundamental piece of our understanding of everything in nature. So we've got, to, we've got to go into high precision measurements now to find out whether it behaves exactly as we expect or whether there are some subtleties there. Um, I should just say actually that the, the, the fact that it has been discovered so early in the LHC's uh, programme is a real testament to this machine. It's, it's, it's operating beyond the design expectation already. And um, one of the, uh, spokes, the spokesmen actually of the Atlas experiment, Fabiola Giannotti, at the end of her speech where she announced this said, thank you nature, which I think is a wonderful way to put it. Just a final thought because uh, it was interesting listening to you talk about how your whole life there has been this theory that existed and then we get to today. But aside from the theory of it all, are there practical implementations and the use of this that lie ahead for scientists once they have absolutely confirmed what, what they think they've found? You, you know, I think it's one of those questions I get asked a lot. And the answer, and I think this is the very honest answer, is that we, we don't know what this particular piece of knowledge will deliver. But the point is that history tells us that exploring the way the universe works, this thing in which we live, understanding how that works has delivered modern civilization, without a doubt. You know, 100 years ago, the cutting edge was dis the discovery of the electron, the discovery of the atomic nucleus. Things now, the, it, life would be unthinkable without our understanding of the subatomic world at that level. The quantum theory, which came around in the 20s and 30s, led to the discovery of the transistor. So what history tells you is, you never know. that This is right at the edge of our understanding. But understanding the universe is self-evidently a sensible thing to do because our civilization is built on it.